Welcome to Hanna Instruments. Today we're going to be going over the setup, calibration, and testing with the HI84100 test free and total sulfur and wine. Uh, once you have the meter unpacked, first thing we're going to do is hook up the probes and the tubing. Take your probe, remove the uh, cap. In the back of the unit, we're going to have the probe hookup right here, ORP probe, power here, on off switch. Take the BNC connector place it over half a turn to lock it into place put it in the ring provided on the cap take your tubing, connect it to your bottle of 84100-50 which is going to be your titrant solution holding the black rings place the first one in holding the other ring, stretch it around the pump put it into place the tip of your tubing will go down the tube next to the probe now you spin your meter back around and plug it in, turn it on. Once you turn the meter on, it's going to go through a quick self-diagnostic test. When it's done, it'll display four dashes across the screen. There we go. Now that we're at this stage, the next thing we're going to do is purge the pump. Your cap comes off with a half a turn, counterclockwise. Place it behind you. Put a beaker into the machine, replace the cap and tubing, make sure your tubing is down into the beaker, and press the purge button. The purge cycle will run for five minutes, which will make sure there's no air left in the line. Once the purge cycle is done, we'll move on to calibrating the pump. Once the uh, purge cycle is done, we're going to remove the cap. and move on to pump calibration. Take a clean beaker, add your stir bar. We're going to take the 84100-50 calibration standard, measure 50 milliliters, preferably with a pipette or graduated cylinder, and place into the beaker. Take your HI84100-53 using the small beaker provided, fill it up to the 5 milliliter line. Volume is not that important, you do not need a pipette. Take the 5 milliliters, dump it into your sample. Take your packet of 84100-54, open it with either scissors or simply by ripping it open. Placing the contents into the beaker as well. You get a small phase that's creating the CO2 barrier. Place it in the top of your titrator, replace the cap, make sure your tip is down into the solution, hit your cow pump button, once standard flashes across the street, hit start. If you hear a banging noise, just lift your probe slightly until the probe is no longer being hit by the stir bar. Once the calibration is done, We'll get done flashing across the screen and it'll go back to the four dashes. Okay. Once we're done with calibration, you're going to hear the beep. Your sample should have a light yellow color to it. It means it's finished its titration. See the color change. Make sure, as always, rinse your probe in between tests. And then we're going to replace using a fresh beaker. Add 50 milliliters of your wine using again a graduated cylinder or pipette. Place your wine to be tested into the beaker. Add the 5 milliliters of the dash 53, one packet of the dash 54. Make sure you have a stir bar. Place it back into your titrator. Replace the cap with the probe. Again, making sure your tip's down into the solution. And simply hit start. Once again, if you do hear your stir bar hitting your probe, just slightly lift your probe, making sure the uh, still submerged past the junction, 
but no longer hitting the stir bar. Once it's finished titration, it'll put the number in parts per million across the screen. Right now we're doing free SO2. And there we go. This wine has three parts per million of free SO2, as you can see. Um, and that's it. To do another test, you're simply going to remove the cap and tubing. Rinse your probe, as always. And replace your beaker with a fresh clean beaker with a stir bar and start the process over again. At the end of the day when you're done testing, uh, there's only a few steps. Clear your screen by hitting the start stop button. Remove your tubing. Unhooking one side. And then place the tip in the drain hole on the bottle to keep it from siphoning out while you're not using it. The probe should always be stored back into its storage tube with the storage solution. Take your probe, put the blue tip on, follow it with the O-ring to make sure it creates a seal. Place the storage tube, give it a half a turn, and you're done. And that's the HI84100 uh, free and total SO2 meter by Hannah Instruments. If you have any questions or would like to purchase this product, please give us a call.